Hey there everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal. For those of you who are new here and welcome to my fashion and lifestyle channel. If you are not new, then welcome back girl. So in today's video, I have a very exciting video for you guys. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some fashion slash style hacks that I found just perusing Pinterest and just, you know, hacks that I use myself. Just when I wanna change things up because like I said, you know, in my style and fashion goals for the year, I am trying to maximize my wardrobe and use what I already have. And sometimes when you do that, you kind of get bored with your, you know, with your look and you get bored, you know, styling the same pieces the same way. So these hacks are just ways for you to really maximize your wardrobe and just really show you how to get the most out of a piece. So yeah, so if you're interested in seeing some of my style hacks, then just keep watching. All right, the first style hack is really kind of the simplest style hack you probably could could utilize and that involves putting a brooch in like a hat or a beanie of some sort and i used this hack before or i've used this style um hack before and yeah it's just basically a way for you to wear a brooch especially if you have a brooch um or if you don't have a brooch you can go to the thrift store and find one and if you have a beanie and you know it's just a plain beanie right but you add a brooch to it and just kind of like takes it to another level and just kind of adds a little bit more styling detail to you know your look and to the beanie so you just pretty much just take the brooch and just put it wherever you want wherever you desire so i'm just going to find a good place to put it and then apply it to my beanie here and there you go so i'm going to try to put this on without messing my hair up girl um we're going to see how this goes i need to fix it a little bit so obviously it's not fixed the way that i want it of course you could just adjust it and fix it however you want so let me just do this real quick i can't do this on camera so hold on let me fix this all right, so here we go. So here is my little brooch. This is by Gucci, by the way. So that's just another way for you to wear your brooches or also to wear your beanies. Like if you get tired of just wearing it just, just by itself without any kind of, you know, fun detail to it. It just kind of adds like a fun detail to your little beanie. So you can just put the brooch wherever you want it. Um, I preferred it right here, kind of like on the, you know, part that flips up or, uh, you know folds up i just prefer it there to me it just looks better but you can put it anywhere that you want and then i also have like a little floral brooch too you can also add a little floral brooch if you want to you know this one i'll probably put more so here um this one i got from zara i've had this for a while and this one it has like a like a little clip on it as well as like the little um part here that you can um like a little pin kind of detail here and so i can actually just like clip it on my little beanie here with the little whip this part here so yeah so i'll do that so i'll just kind of like yeah like clip it on like that so yeah so just like a little cute fun little look i feel like blossom with this uh, flower i don't know if you guys remember that show blossom with joy joey lawrence and mylon bollock i think i don't know but anyway so uh, yeah i kind of feel like blossom but i think it's cute i think it's just another style detail like i said that you can utilize if you have a brooch or if you have a beanie, just put them together and make you another little, just a little style detail, just to add a little razzle dazzle to your look. But yeah, so that is the first little style hack. You can also use like a beret. I have also a beret here and put like, you know, put it on your beret, you know, just to kind of add, like I said, some fun detail to your look. You can add these, add brooches to literally any kind of hat. You can add it to fedoras. You can add it to, like I said, um, a beret. You can add it to hats, you know, like baseball caps if you want to. So you can just add it to, you know really anything so yeah so that is the first style hack and that is to add a brooch to a hat all right the next style hack is one that um i recently stumbled upon i think another youtuber i can't even think of her name right now but another youtuber i think came up with this hack and i just thought it was brilliant because um y'all know me if you've been following me then you know I love caps. I love baseball caps. So this next hat, you know, this next hack involves, you know, a hat. So, um, but yeah, so I saw this hack and I was like, this is genius. Like, why haven't I been doing this? Especially as much as I wear, you know, makeup and I wear, you know, hats. You know, I need something to protect my hats, especially when you wear makeup. Um, Cause you know how when you wear a hat, like this is a hat here that I just recently got from Polo, Ralph Lauren, and I have makeup on, right? So when you put the hat on, you know, it leaves, you know some makeup on the hat and you have to keep cleaning this hat so a style hack that i found stumbled upon was to put a panty liner in your hat so essentially you just take a panty liner you know this is for you ladies that 
you know, obviously have menstrual cycles if you still do. Um, or you don't even have to have a menstrual cycle to get a pain bottle. Like, literally go to the store. It's, like, it's inexpensive. Or borrow one from your girlfriend. Like, you don't even have to, like, buy any. But if you have several hats and you wear them a lot, you may want to buy some. Um, but, yeah, so you just basically just put it, like, here in this part of your hat. Yeah, I've already taken off the little um, paper part. So you just put it in your hat like this. And it just saves you from getting makeup on your hat. Like, how genius is that? I don't know why somebody hasn't patented this and just like sold it in the store. Um, because this is a genius um, hack, especially for women, like I said, who wear makeup and like to wear hats. And you can use this little hack for any kind of hat again, you know, like fedoras, like any kind of hat. Especially like if you have makeup and it's going to be going on your forehead, you want something to protect. You want number one to protect your makeup from coming off, but also to protect your hat as well. So I just thought this was just a genius little hack. So basically, you just put, like I said, a panty liner in this part of the hat and it protects your hat from getting makeup on it like genius like you know what I mean like I love this hat and I don't use it as much as I should and like I said I just stumbled upon it so I'm definitely gonna start using this hack to save all my hats so yeah so that is the next hack and that is putting a penny liner in the inside of your hat Alright, and this next hack is going to involve your top. So we're gonna we're going just starting from the top and going down. So you know how you have tops that are like really just like oversized or just big, or you just want to add a little detail to an otherwise just kind of boring top. Then this is a perfect hat. So um, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So I basically have you guys down just a little bit so you only see my shirt. So this is like an off the shoulder top that I got from HM, right? And it's just very just just you know just like black you know like blah you know what I mean like I can tuck it in which is another little hack but sometimes I get tired of doing that so one hack that um, I feel like you know anybody can do it's just a simple easy hack when like I said you have tops like this that are just you know big and just kind of oversized then take a little bracelet like a little bangle if you will and what you're gonna do is you're gonna place it wherever you know you want it to go so you can put this literally anywhere on the top I'm gonna put it here because I just kind of like it here on the side so you basically take the little bracelet and you're gonna put it place it right here on the top and you can you know take your top off and do this without having the actual top on so you're gonna take the top off and you're gonna take a elastic like a little elastic that you put in your hair and what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it so I'm gonna fold up my top here as you can see you know you have the little outline of your um, bracelet right here right so you're gonna take the elastic and just place it right over that so as you can see and then you turn it around and voila you have like a little ruching kind of detail so just kind of again adds like a little extra detail to your look right just just adding like this little just this little simple little ruching detail and if you want it to be a little bit tighter you can do a tighter elastic or you can wrap the elastic around um, a few times so if I can I'll just wrap the elastic twice and kind of makes a smaller hole but it kind of ruches it a little bit more so yeah but I think I like it with just the one loop so actually let me try to show you guys again just in case you didn't see it so you basically you're gonna take the little bracelet again and put it wherever you want to put it let's put it here let's just put it here like right here on my stomach then go under your top like this and can I flip it over and you have the bracelet here take your elastic put it over the bracelet from the out from the inside flip it over and you have yourself a little ruching detail so this is just one simple way to you know ruch in and otherwise you know bigger shirt and yeah absolutely love it you can use a bigger um bracelet i don't know who would have a bigger bracelet than this but um you can use like any kind of circular shaped um you know detail if you will um i'm trying to think of something that would be circular um probably like some automotive you know like <laughs> things could be circular you could just put it inside your shirt and make it even bigger so but yeah it's just you know you can just put this anywhere and just create this ruching effect and so absolutely love it so it just saves me from having to tuck my shirt in of course you could tuck your shirt in too but i like it like this so but yeah 
All right, and here is another shirt hack. Um, that last hack I sh shared with you guys with a little bracelet, you can also use that hack with like dresses. Like if you have like a billowy dress and you just kind of like to want to create some kind of ruching, then you can just add it, you know, add that to a dress or a skirt. Like it can really be, you know, it really can be styled up with any kind of piece really um all right so this next hack is also going to be like a little shirt hack similar to the last one with the bracelet but if you don't have a bracelet or you know i think all I feel like all of us have like little elastics so this next one is going to involve uh, just an elastic so again similar to the last hack but what we're going to do is we're going to just fold our top so i'm going to use the same top again because it's kind of big and billowy so basically what you're going to do is you're going to fold your top like this so you can fold it how many times you want and it's basically going to create another ruching effect so then you're going to take some more of your top and just keep folding it you know if you feel comfortable doing this you know with your top and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the part that you folded and you're going to kind of just like put it like in a little ball take your elastic and then just tie it tie the elastic around the little ruching part that you created you're going to turn it over and you have a little ruching effect and you can also you know tuck it in and it creates like a little ruching effect and of course you can tuck it in your pants if you want to or you could just leave it like it is it should it shouldn't fall or come up you know come loose or anything so but yeah that's another little ruching you know little style hack um so again in case you need to see again uh, what you're going to do is you're going to take your top you're gonna fold one time, fold, take two parts, uh, or take these two parts of the top, fold them in together like that. Take another, like I said, you can do this as many times as you want to. Take another part and fold it over as well, like this. Go under the top, and you're gonna hold it like this so you can know where to go underneath the top to get the part that's folded. So you're going to take the part that's folded with your hand, turn it over, take your elastic, and then you're going to take the elastic and tie it up like you would like a ponytail. And there you go. You have yourself some ruching. And then, like I said, you can tuck it under and it just kind of creates kind of like a V type of a shape with some ruching. So love this little hack. I feel like, you know, if you don't have um, a bracelet or you don't want that kind of hole effect or that, that hole effect that a bracelet would do, then you can do this and it creates just another look that you can do with your tops, especially if you have like a big top and you know, you want to add a little extra detail. Again, this works with like a um, button up shirt um you could probably do this with a dress or a skirt too if like the skirt is a little too big um or if you want to create like i don't know like a v type of a detail with your skirt then you can you know create this hat with your skirt so any kind of like billowy piece that you're able to kind of fold over like this and create like a ruching effect so yeah so i love that little hack especially with your tops because you know you want to maximize your tops and you know create different looks with your tops and i feel like these two hacks are really good so all right so that is the next shirt hack and that is the fold over method All right, and for this next hack, I popped on a button-up shirt because um, I want to share with you guys how to, sh you know, wear a button-up shirt as like an, you know, off-the-shoulder top. I did this hack in the summertime, and a few people asked me how I did it, and so I thought I would share it with, you know, with you guys with this. So we know like off-the-shoulder tops are huge and trendy right now but if you don't have it off the shoulder top and you want to participate in that particular trend or if you have a button-up shirt and you're trying to figure out different ways to style it up then here we go so basically what you're going to do is you're going to unbutton some of the buttons of the top and i have on like a little bandeau top here and so basically what you're going to do is you're going to take it and just kind of put it down like this so basically all you're doing is just literally unbuttoning some of the buttons and then just allowing the top to just kind of like go over your shoulders like that. And you can undo as many buttons as you want and it just kind of creates this off the shoulder type of look. And you can do, you know, one side if you prefer like one side um, or you can do both sides. I kind of like both sides. Um, I have a mirror here so I'm just kind of looking in my mirror and adjusting it. And so... Yeah, love this little um, little hack here. And then what you can do, because I do, let me put you guys down so you can see. So what you can do, because I do have some of it kind of like billowing out here, you can just like tuck this part in if you will. Or you can use that little uh, bracelet hack 
for the back. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna attempt to do this um, backwards. So yeah, so you're gonna take the bracelet and put it to the back like this. So I have it in my hand and then I'm gonna take the elastic and put it behind me and put it around the, um, put it around the bracelet like that. And yeah, just kind of creates that ruching effect in the back to kind of keep it from, you know, looking too um, billowy, I guess, if you will. And I don't know if you can see that or not, especially with this being striped. I don't know, maybe you can see it. So yes, yeah, so I'm actually gonna put it up a little bit higher um, because I want it to kind of be a little bit higher. So this is like two hacks in one, really. But yeah, so I'm gonna take my bracelet again and I'm gonna put it behind me, or no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna put it here, in, um, like on the top, and then I'm gonna take my hand and grab it with my hand. So I have the bracelet in my hand here, and then I'm gonna take the elastic and go under my top and put it around the bracelet. And if I can, and yeah, we're probably gonna, what we're gonna do actually is tie it twice. So it kind of makes it a little bit tighter. So, and you can do that fold over method. It's gonna be difficult to do the fold over method that we did with the um, the second hack, with the second shirt hat. It's gonna be hard to do that fold over method with backwards. You may have to get somebody to help you, but yeah, just kind of ruches it in the back a little bit. So it's just not, um, Billow with you and it kind of gives you like a little detail in the back. So basically this is two style hacks in one. So you have like an off the shoulder type of a situation. Plus you have the hack with um, the bracelet. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we have two hacks in one really with this hack. But yeah, so that's just one way you can again add a little extra detail to you know your button up shirt especially for like the summertime like the spring and summertime when it's a little bit warmer um and then you can also tie up the top in the front if you want to or just leave it like this or tuck it in just you know you can do whatever you want with the top but yeah i love this little style hack and i just feel like it's something cute that you can you know do something different with your button up shirt so that is the next hack and that's turning your button up shirt into a off the shoulder top All right, here is the next hack and I hope you guys are getting a little bit of help with you know styling as far as like you know your piece different pieces in your wardrobe just give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys are liking this style hack video so far um, and just in case you I'm not you know <laughs> explaining them in you know too depth of detail um, I did say these to a um, or create a board on my Pinterest where I pretty much am getting all these pretty much a lot of these hacks from I got from Pinterest so I will link my Pinterest down below if you want to see these hacks kind of like in more detail if I'm not explaining them to you as well if I'm not I'm sorry but I do have a Pinterest board just with style hacks and like I said all of them are pretty much um, that I'm showing you are from that so I will link it down below just in case um, I'm not sharing with you guys you can't see it as well so check out my Pinterest board um, all right so this next hack is going to involve a blazer some of you probably already know this hack um, I see a lot of style influencers fashion influencers doing this particular hat and then hack and it involves your blazers basically what you're gonna do if you have like an oversized blazer like this let me pan you guys down so you can see so if you have like an oversized blazer like this this is an oversized blazer you know how when you want to lift up the sleeves to kind of create another little effect or another detail the sleeve just kind of like falls down at least mine do and sometimes I get tired of like doing this right so one way to keep your sleeves from falling down is just an again an elastic y'all elastics go a long way they're just they're not just for your hair anymore so you're basically going to take an elastic anything that you can really tolerate um, as far as on your elbow because you're going to put these on your elbow so you're going to take the elastic and just basically you're going to put it up to your elbow or however you want it and you're going to take the sleeve and just kind of again ruche it and um, ruche it up and just really just cover up that elastic and that basically what that creates is just like just creates like a little um way to keep the sleeve up so again you can do that again with the other side so i'm going to take the elastic and i'm going to pop it all the way up to my elbow and then just kind of like ruche up the sleeves to hide the little the little elastic 
and it, what it's going to do is create some ruching effect and also it's going to keep the sleeves from falling down so this is kind of like a casual way to wear a blazer if you don't want to wear it the traditional way just pretty, pretty much just down this basically just keeps the sleeves from falling down and you can also use this if you have like a blazer that's kind of too long and you want to kind of lift it up a little bit you can use this same hat for that purpose too so but yeah I love this little style hack like I said it's not a style hack that is new or anything I feel like a lot of people know about this one but just in case you don't I just wanted to you know share it with you guys so yeah so that's just kind of another way to kind of ruch up your sleeves especially like in the springtime because I wear more so blazers in like the spring and the fall like that transi transitional weather so it's just a, you know a fun way to really just add a little extra detail and just do something different with your blazer and to make it more of a casual style but yeah so that is the next hack and that is the ruching of your sleeves with a blazer all right guys so this next hack is going to involve a long sleeve top so if you have a long sleeve top just a plain simple long sleeve top i'm going to share with you guys how you can create two other different tops with the same top so for this first one what we're going to do is actually for both of them we're going to take our arms out of the sleeve so you're just going to just take your arm out of your sleeve like so and we're going to do this with both and then the first type of style or the first top we're going to create is like a bando top so actually they call it I think it's called a twisted bando so you're basically going to take these sleeves and just wrap them around like this you can do it however you want you can do it like this and wrap it around or you can do it like this and kind of wrap it around I'm trying to see like what works best for me so um I think doing it like this is going to work for me so you basically just take it and wrap it around so this is basically like a twisted bando top is what this is and you're going to just tie the back of it in a little knot and there you go you have a, a little bando top a twisted bando top so you can do this you know like i said either way twist it or if you don't want to twist it because sleeves aren't that long you got to make sure you have a top that's kind of long um the sleeves aren't as long for me so i'm just going to take the sleeves and pretty much just wrap it around and tie it um, and you know this is just depends on how big your bust size is too so um, but it just creates like a little bando top especially if you don't have a bando top and you want to create that um, that look this bando top look but you don't want to go out and buy one then you can create it with just a you know long sleeve top so that is the first hack and then the second one we're going to create like a little halter top i love halter tops especially in the summertime so you're going to again take the sleeves and you're going to twist them in the front like this so you're just going to twist the sleeve and then pull it up and then basically you're going to just tie it yeah so you're going to tie it you can tie it in a knot if you want to and yeah you basically have a little halter top so you can just kind of play with it however you need to just to kind of keep it from having that bunched effect to it so yeah so you just kind of do that and then voila you have yourself a little you know bandeau top or you have yourself a halter top so love this little hack again i found this on pinterest and just thought it was just genius because um i love like i said i love halter tops and i have a lot of you know like long sleeve tops that i particularly wear like in the fall and winter and that's just one way you can get the most out of like these long sleeve tops because we don't tend to wear them as much like in the spring and especially in the summertime we tend to put these tops away but don't put it away girl you can use them in the summertime you can do the bandeau top where you just tie it around take the sleeves and tie it around your back or you can take it and twist it and just you know you create yourself a little you know um halter top so yeah so that is the next hack and that is taking a long sleeve top and creating a bandeau top or a halter top. All right, and this last hack is going to involve belts or the use of belts um, because one of my style goals for 2024 is to use more of my belts and to wear more belts. So one way to do this is to, you know, create some hacks or find some hacks where I can style my belts and yeah, get the most, out of, you know, most use out of my belt. First hack just involves if like you have a belt that's like too big because a lot of my belt I, that I do have when I, you know, button them up or fasten them up, they are too big. And so 
I need an extra hole. So I just have this um, hole puncher that I got off Amazon. If you need like, you know, to put a hole in your boot, you know, in your belt. Or also this works good for shoes too. Like if you have um, some shoes with a strap and you know, this, you, you have like skinny ankles like I do and you need an extra hole, then you can just get you like a little hole puncher. And this has like different little, um, sizes on here so you can just turn it to whatever size that you need and create your hole so um yeah i can use this for my belts as well as my shoes so this is a good little little thing to have i've had this in my wardrobe for years and i think it's still available on, on amazon and i will link it down below um in case you're looking for you know something to help create a hole you know another hole in your belt so but yeah so that is just the first little hack i guess a little tool that you can use to create a hack for your belt all right so this next hack involves like if you have like um like a slip dress or like a satin dress and you want to wear it you know during this time of year because typically we wear that kind of stuff like in the spring and summertime but again we're trying to get the most out of our wardrobe and wear our stuff year round girl so this next hack involves um, an oversized sweater and a slip dress so basically what i did is i put on a slip dress so i have this one that i had in my wardrobe from um, zara that i've had for a while so basically what i did is i put this belt on you can put any kind of belt that you want but i just put this one on because it's elasticated and um, i can kind of adjust it to have however i need to really um to create the effect that i want um and this belt um i did find something similar on amazon i will link it down below if you want a belt like this it's just like a gold belt just a little statement belt so anyway so like i said if you want to wear you know and get the most out of your slip dress and you know you want to put on a sweater of some sort and you want you don't you know you don't want it to be kind of like oversized like this right or you don't want it to kind of like take up most of the dress so what you can do is take your uh, sweater and just tuck it into the belt so it just kind of creates like a kind of like a more of a she gives you more of a shape and also if I want to show this belt um, and you know put this belt um, as my styling piece because if you tuck it too much you can't see the belt because um, you guys have probably seen this hack before but for the for the most part most of the hacks I've seen you can't really see the belt because this top is covering the belt so this is just one way you can wear your belt with your slip dress and kind of show the belt a little bit that's why i went with this particular belt so but just kind of any wide belt that you have you can use this little hack um just like i said so you can just kind of have a little bit of the belt kind of showing through just to get like i said give you a little bit more detail because if you're going to wear a belt you want it to show especially like a statement belt so yeah you can just kind of adjust it however you want if you want the entire top to just kind of be um where it's not doing this then you can obviously tuck the top into the rest of the belt because this is a stretchy belt so i you know i'm able to do that because of the fact that this belt is so stretchy and so i can just kind of play with it. i'll have to play with it a little bit but you guys kind of get the gist so if you want that look um i prefer to kind of just have it out because i just like that look um because really this front part is the start of the show anywhere anyway you know the gold part so but yeah, that's just another way you can get the most out of your slip dress and you don't have to worry about covering up your belt or not your belt not showing. It's just add like a little statement belt like this, especially like a little stretchy one or any kind of wide belt again, like I said, and just kind of tuck your top into the belt. And yeah, you can just kind of play with it however you want. Um, yeah, we'll kind of tuck it in a little bit more. Yeah, so I think that's cute. I think that's a look um yeah so that way my belt is showing and i'm also um tucking in the top a little bit just kind of just so i'm like showing a little bit of a figure if you will so but that is the next hat Alright guys, so that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't a complete waste of your time. I hope you got some little style tips of how to make the most out of your wardrobe and style up some of your, you know, basic essential pieces in like different ways. That's really the purpose of this video. So, um, I did have more hacks, but if you guys want to see another part, you know, like a part two, then I can, you know, do that for you guys. Most of these hacks I found on Pinterest, but I'm sure some of those came off of TikTok. So, um, I can, you know, I'll try to go on TikTok and find some more, um, innovative 
creative ones on TikTok, if you will. If you guys want to see a part two, um, just let me know in the comments. And, let, and also let me know in the comments which hack was your favorite, which one you're going to be trying out, which one you've never heard of. Because um, like I said, a few of these I've never even tried. So I'm definitely going to be trying a lot of these hacks and incorporating them into our wardrobe and just really to maximize the things that I already have in my wardrobe. So, but yeah, let me know which hack was your favorite. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got some knowledge out of this uh, video, out of this styling video. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, bye guys.